Where were you the day you received the message on your phone, on your WhatsApp, or somebody called you and said, TB Joshua is dead? that I'm wearing the shirt of this man. Can you see this man here? Yes, Papa. How many know this man? How many know this man? If you're watching at home, do you know this man? What is his name? Prophet TB Joshua. I'm not ashamed of the people that have impacted me in my life one way or the other. It is a quality that has enabled me to grow as an individual. Many of us, when we think we are at the top, we tend to look down on our beginnings. Because it is the receiver who remembers more than the giver. Hallelujah. Amen. So you remember this man? Yes. Is he alive? Is he alive? Where is he? Hallelujah. It was shocking. You even assumed that they are playing a prank. You even said don't talk with things like that. Because in your mind, you never assumed that such an individual can die just like that. But the reality is that they died. And when they died, we all shook and said, wow, such a great man is gone. How are we going to move? It's a year now, over a year. The man has been gone. Do you know that? It's over now a year. If we're not almost getting to two years, if not, the man has been gone. But guess what? Life is moving. The synagogue church is thriving. People are still being healed. Demons are still manifesting. Miracles are happening. And yet he is gone. When you die, life goes on with or without you. I want you to understand that many of you have abandoned your dreams many of you have abandoned your hopes many of you have abandoned your lives because you are too busy pleasing people you are busy living your life for others for people scared about what they think of you but those same people the moment you die will quickly forget you as fast as possible Life should never be lived in a way that you are scared about the opinions of others. It is crucial to respect the opinions of others but never to be afraid. Men in history and women in history who have made marks for themselves were individuals who go to a point in their lives where they said, I don't need to worry about what people think anymore. Amen. When you die, what will sustain your name? This man is dead. Gone. His flesh by now is rotted in the ground. It's the reality of life. But his name, go to Brazil, Egypt, Kenya, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mutoko, Mondoro, Uzumba Maramba Fungwe, go to Cairo, anywhere in the world, just say TB, someone who say Joshua. But the man is gone. 
It's a man who wasn't afraid of the opinions of others. But a man who knew what God said he must do. And he said, I will do it at all costs. Even if it means they say things about me. And they wrote compiled reports, bloggings, and falsified information. Did it stop him? They put him in prison and says, you not come out. Did it stop him? He is gone. His name is on schools, buildings, hospitals. There are families that li whose livelihoods are alive today because of that man. The question I need to ask you now, if you are hearing me and listening to me, if you die today, what is your legacy? For more of Prophet Ed Branson's teachings, follow us on Facebook and on YouTube, Prophet Ed Branson.